Brake hoses are a critical part of our four-wheel drive's braking system. I didn't even need to say that, you already knew that, eh? <laughs> anyway, they are and we well know that, but we forget to check on them because they're under the vehicle and the brakes just work. We don't need to worry too much about them. That's our thinking and we've all, we can all get caught with that. I got caught recently, I was out in a race with my race car here, it's a 94 Model 80 series and I reckon it had the original brake hoses on it. Well, I went to put my foot on the brake under a hard braking application and the pedal wasn't right. And what had happened was one of the brake lines that goes from the chassis down to the differential had ballooned out, it had failed on me. And so the pressure was getting released into the outer sheath of the hose and it was a less than an ideal situation. So making sure that your brake lines are in good order as part of your servicing of the vehicle is imperative. There's a number of things to look for. Look for cracking and deterioration in the outer sheath. Look for any fluid leaks, brake fluid leaks, whether they be at this, the join here or in the crimp of the hose. Look for any physical damage. Maybe a stick has come up and gra grabbed the hose at some point in time. And if the brake lines are old and you don't know their service condition, well, it's probably worth changing them. So I've cut this hose apart so that I can show you how the structure of a standard rubber brake hose works. You have the rubber outer sheath here. And then you have this inner weave, which is a fiber material designed to hold the inner structure of the brake hose. When you subject it to the high brake pressures up to 2000 PSI, this brake hose does not want to stay in the same shape. It wants to expand, but that fiber and structure around it gives it the support that is required. And then we have this inner section where the fluid is carried. So that's the structure of a traditional rubber brake hose. And all of the terrain tamer hoses have been made to OEM standard or better, and they all meet or exceed international and Australian standards. So you're guaranteed of the quality that you require on your vehicle. Now, if you're looking for the ultimate in braking performance, one of the things you can do is add a braided brake line. These again meet all of the relevant standards, but they have an internal core, which is a Teflon sleeve. And that's where the fluid is carried, the brake fluid. And then we have this outer stainless steel sheath, which encapsulates that inner core and makes sure that there is no deformation of the brake line when you apply the brakes. And that gives you a better brake pedal, a better brake feel, and better braking performance. And then on the outside, we have this plastic sheath, which gives you that abrasion resistance and protects the stainless steel and the Teflon line from any contaminants or damage from dust, dirt, and grime that may be in the four-wheel driving environment. So I hope that information has helped you understand how brake lines work and how they can help you make sure that you have the best braking performance in your four wheel drive or your vehicle. I'm Mad Matt, stay safe on the trails. Terrain Tamer have a 50 year old promise to deliver quality engineered four wheel drive parts.